Hi, I'm just going to do a review of the Word on Fire Bible that I purchased yesterday. Um, and um, I just, um, I'm just kind of blown away how beautiful this uh, this publication ha is. Um, and uh, so I'm just going to start a bit about the about the Bible itself. Um, it came in a box. Um, because I got the leather bound edition. So when you're storing it on your bookshelf, you can you can put it back in the box of it. You know, uh, the, the Bible itself is protected. And um, I have to say, it feels amazing. It's beautifully, beautifully um, done. Um, I've just been going through all of the art. Um, and just starting with the art, there's lots of art in it. Um, as you can see, very traditional, very, very, very traditional Bible. Um, so why why did I buy this Bible? Why why did I go and buy the Word on Fire Bible? Well, I suppose this year during lockdown we had a lot of commentary on Bishop Barron from the traditional side. You know that uh, he did an, an interview with Ben Shapiro, and uh, it you know it, controversial in itself. And, uh, you know, that that kind of set up a debate about, um, you know, where exactly Bishop Barron was sitting as regards Catholic theology and so forth. But what people f missed was his amazing interview that he did with Cameron Bertuzzi on capturing uh, Christianity. I thought it was outstanding. I thought it was one of the best interviews I've ever seen a bishop give. Um, and if you and I really think people should go and listen to the interview because um, he asked the same question: Should I become Catholic? And of course, in this time, you know, Bishop Barron gets to uh, clarify his position, and um, he has some great, um, great discussions with him on on this same question, especially on the Eucharist on intercommunion. It was the best response I've ever seen a bishop give as to why a non-Catholic cannot receive communion you know um I, I mean I can't say I can't say I've ever seen somebody give such a good answer and I don't think credit has been given to Bishop Barron for his interview uh with um Car Cameron Bertuzzi on capturing Christianity that um Cameron that's his channel and he's interviewing Bishop Barron so anyway afterwards you know, I, I, I heard word of the Bible that, that they had been producing. And, you know, we need to we need to um, remember that Catholics don't know the word of God very well, sadly. You know, and that's not Bishop Barron's fault. You know, uh, and, and I think you can criticise Bishop Barron a lot. But at the end of the day, a man that does nothing makes no mistakes. And Bishop Barron has done a lot of good to renew the faith. And this Bible, I mean, I'm traditionalist personally, and I just think it's it's so well done. It's it's beautiful. It's it's a joy to have something like this. Where does it sit as regards, you know, the presentation of the Bible? Well, you know, I've my traditional Latin Mass um, missal, which I found in a dump in Bayonne in France. Um, in a bin, um, leather, gold leaf, um, very, very beautiful, um, you know, beautiful presentation of the missile pre-1955. And I have my uh, St. Michael's Abbey um, monastic diurnal for the Liturgy of the Hours. Um, also leather, gold uh, leaf around the outside, you know, very, very nice, um, uh, traditional type of of, 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 of books you know that, that you know they really mean something to me and you know they've gone and done the exact same it's it's really beautiful it's it feels amazing uh, it looks amazing and it's worthy of the word of God like this is very traditional and and then if you go through the Bible you know it's Every piece of work, every piece of art, and they criticised Bishop Barron regarding Vatican II and so far forth. But everything in, in here, as far as art, as far as, you know, um, just the, 
the the beauty of it every piece of work every piece of art is pre vatican II. so we can't go after him saying oh look he is uh you know um he's really he's really taken to heart you know the the continuity of our faith i mean in, in my view um uh, i mean one thing i found very interesting in the bible you know the, the cathedral as the new temple you know the new the cathedral as the new temple you can see it here and where's the any and the tabernacle where it should be in the center that's where the tabernacle should be not uh, removed you know in in ireland and if you go to many cathedrals like in the cathedral in, in armagh they've actually removed the high altar the original high altar they've removed the tabernacle in here completely gone completely desecrated you know gone and they've put the our lord down here somewhere in the in in, in, a, in a side altar and i don't want to get into the politics of all of this but i just think we need to give bishop baron his credit for for a beautiful traditional presentation you know of the the of the of the gospels um because you know oftentimes we can just overlook him overlook uh, um all the good that's being done here and resurrection of lazarus as well you know beautiful pieces of work i mean you could take this new testament sorry this this these gospels and have them as a as a tool to meditate on it when you're in the adoration and so forth so i just thought the whole the whole um bible is is really 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 well done i mean i can't praise him high enough for having done this i mean and we can the bit what bishop baron has done here can be done we can do so much more to renew the word of god doing this type of uh, publications you know um because if you go through the the, the 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 bible here you'll see a lot of commentary from saint thomas aquinas saint augustine saint francis de sales you know he is it's really I mean, it's really traditional. Um, you have some word study from, you know, some of the some Greek words. I would have liked more of that personally. <laughs> um, you know, but I mean, there's nothing there's nothing I could fault about it. Um, it's 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 everywhere. It's it's, you know, there's commentaries from from, you know, Filton Sheen. Um, it's 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 really beautiful. Um saint cyril of alexandria you know so i suppose what he's what, he, what i see he's done he's he's dug into the to the to the history of the church and he's dug out very very traditional in my view um commentaries on 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 the on just the gospels um and if you think about it you know i it's not this is my wouldn't be my regular gospel bible you know i have you know a um a new jerusalem bible and and if you take a new jerusalem bible or any bible you know the gospels really are 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 a very small part of, of the overall bible itself so it's good that he's 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 taken it out and is and, and he's expanded them that way for us you know um my polish bible I speak polish so uh um i have a uh, a a um a spanish um um jerusalem bible what else do I have? I've got a Latin and Greek Bible that I was it was given to me, um, uh, printed in one hundred and three, and you know it's uh, not leather, I, I and it's kind of falling apart, but I use it from time to time. And um, what else? What else am I? What else do I use? And I, I like this my my New Testament the, the Greek the Greek Latin and Spanish New Testament which I also use so. It's not like I don't have Bibles, but I, I just think, you know, I just think what Bishop Barron has done with this one, is 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 a great template for Catholics to look to in the future. You know, if you know, we should know the Word of God. You know, all Catholics should know the Word of God, and when Bishop Barron gets something very very right, this should be celebrated in the church, and I just think you know fair dues to him like it's 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 so well done it's so 
it's so well prepared you know and just to read through it um and you can always find fault with things but i suppose i would be struggling to find any fault with this because it's just it is so well done it's um you know it, it draws from the from you know the the rich um heritage of uh, you know in the church you know bringing the gospels up elevating them up you know and you know if he if the the whole bible is done in this way you know it would be it would be something beautiful to have in the church um price wise i think i paid uh, six, seven, 65 euros uh, so it wasn't cheap but that's that's for what i've got i think i got value for money i don't think they were i don't think they were making um you know extensive profits from this um i just think it's it's beautiful it's um you know i i can't praise them enough so uh, if any of you are not familiar with bishop Barron, you know and want to see a good video go to that capturing Christi christianity um youtube video that he did um i thought it was brilliant um and um i would get the i would get this new testament i think it would sit it's great for meditation i think it would sit beautifully in an adoration chapel you know to pick up the word you know the word of god to pick up christ's gospel and to actually read through it and meditate it on it on it and i think this is a, a wonderful start i think this is a renewal in the church of how we should love the word of god how we should know the word of god meditate on the word of god you know um you know once you once you understand christ you know and you delve into his his mysteries and his um his his passion to communicate to us i mean you can't but want to know more and what you know about um his met his message uh, and i suppose you know that's why I, i'm very passionate about um about how this this has been um prepared because it's um you know it's really really beautiful i mean any any negatives to say well he could have put more place markers or uh, more ribbons i mean minor detail my view anyway um and you know there's nothing stopping anyone there's nothing stopping other groups in the church doing the same type of um publication you know with different commentaries and different um uh you know uh, different perspectives on on the gospel as such you know i just think i just think it's it's really well done um and you know i'm not being paid to do this review um and i did and i know and i wasn't sent this this uh this gospel um but i just think you know the whole the whole aesthetics of it are are really really well done um and i can't I can't fault it at all and I'm just looking forward to more more um more of this I think we should have more of this in the church um put more when you're going to I hope when they're doing the New Testament version they put more Greek into it you know it's it's good I think every Catholic should have at least two to three hundred Greek words from the New Testament it's not too much to learn and it, and it kind of and it, and it helps when you're when you're studying the Bible I hope they do more of that but you know apart from that I mean that's there's no criticism there's no criticism it's it's a beautiful work of art and it is a work of art that's my view of it anyway um you know everything about it is you know it's a joy it's a real joy um and I haven't seen I haven't seen something like this come out in a long time um you know so beautiful you know it really digs into the history of the church anyway that's my review uh, for what it's worth i hope more people actually you know go and buy this um word and fire bible um because it should be especially and i hope it gets that he they get this translated into other languages I, I i really think we need to to be as catholics understand the word of god the bible better you know um which oftentimes we don't seem to know uh, as well as we should do and uh, you know we've uh, in this time when so many catholics don't even believe in the eucharist you know it's important to to 
be a witness to the faith and to renew the faith. That's just my view on it anyway. Um, and I'm just a layman. I don't have any, um, you know, I don't have any uh, um, apostles as such in the church. And uh, But I, I, you know, I, I really do think we have found something beautiful here. And, um, you know, as a traditionalist minded, traditional minded person myself, you know, I think, uh, you know, we have to be fair with Bishop Barron uh, as Catholics, as traditional Catholics, and look at what he's done really well. And this is really well done. This is, you know, one of the best things I've seen come out, you know, um, over the last couple of years. Um, and it's, you know, it's just, just, you know, it's pretty beautiful, you know, it's, you know, you can always find fault with things, but I mean, and nobody's going, you're never going to please people 100% of the time. But this was, this, in my view, is such a beautiful, beautiful, um, uh, you know, presentation, you know, quoting, um, you know, it's, it's, you know, St. John Chrysostom, um, you know, Filton Sheen. Uh, I, I suppose it's, it's very aimed at the, at the American church. Um, but you know Pope Benedict, but it's it's Saint Justin Martin, but it's it's beautiful. I mean, that's my my short interview, a bit of a bit of a ramble here. Um, I suppose my main message is as Catholics, we need to know the Word of God. We need to, you know, this is uh, uh, you know, if you when you talk to our Protestant friends, they know the Word of God very very well. Uh, and we have, you know, our Lord in the Eucharist, and we should know the Word of God as as good as they do, uh, because you know we have the, you know, we have the the true faith. You know, our, our Catholic faith is the true faith. We and we should we should elevate this and and you know bring out the beauty of our faith. Um, uh, I suppose my only my only plea would be, you know, let, let, let's make our let's make our liturgy again as beautiful as this Bible. That would be my only plea, because so t so many times, you know, we go to a mass and it's, you know, a lot of the beauty has been taken out. And, you know, it, it can be very it can be very it can be a crowd pleaser when at the end of the day we go to mass to pray and to let the priest lead us in prayer. That's why I like the traditional Latin Mass. And I, but I think Bishop Barron, you know, he's really, he's really calling out the beauty of, of the Word of God here. I mean, it's, it's, it's really, really well done. You know, I can't fault it. So that's my short review. Uh, and I think we can do, I think it'll be, it's, it's an exciting time to be Catholic, to be honest. And, um, uh, and to see, you know, all of these these projects to to help renew our faith. That's my view. I mean, on it. So let's see where this goes. But uh, you know, I wish Bishop Barron, you know, all the best. I think he's done a wonderful job. Um, and I can't fault anything that he's done in this in this in this. You know, what I think is a work of art. To be honest, I just think I can't fault anything in here. Um, and that's just my view. And. Um, there's nothing there's nothing stopping anybody doing a similar work, you know, and uh, presenting something similar, you know, with different commentaries, with different artwork, you know, well printed, well prepared. You know, the, 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 the Bible doesn't have a copyright. The the text of the Bible isn't copyright. It's anyone can 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 take this, um, prepare commentaries, print something like this and get the approval uh, of their local bishop or a bishop's conference and print it, you know, and um, and so let's hope that we have more of this in the church. That's my view. Anyway, a bit of a long talk, but you know that's just uh, I'm just giving my honest review of this Bible, which I thought was is pretty beautiful, and uh, to be honest, and looking forward to reading this. Um, thanks, Bishop Barron, and uh, greetings from Ireland.